everyone, welcome back. It's Moa AK Scandinavian Abroad. I have just started a new project today and why not just start too? <laughs> so uh, I've just started my blue and white stripy dress which is from Butterick B6590 pattern but we're also starting this lovely one. I'll show you a little bit of a close-up. It's like this kind of Marilyn style dress and what I'm doing it in is this lovely red gingham fabric, it's a polycotton. I think I have enough for this. Um, I am going to lay it out and put all my pattern pieces on it just to kind of make sure that I do have enough of it. This um, pattern is from the vintage, the vintage sewing pattern company, I think they're called. I always forget it. I mix up with another one. I think so. Um, and they have two other um, what's it called? <laughs> patterns that I really want as well. You can order them on the P PDF or in the um, pattern, what's it called? No, paper version. I'm so confused today, I don't know why. Brain's just a bit cloudy. That I also want to buy and these are great because they have uh, bigger sizes. So as you can see this one is available in sizes 8 to 24 which is brilliant and I think looking from the measurements I should be making a size let's see bust waist between a 16 and a 14 so I might make the, the, the waist the 14 or maybe a little slightly smaller judging on the measurements here and then make the bodice slightly bigger just kind of everything meets up in the middle and we'll see if that works. It's all a bit of trial and error. I mean, I haven't started sewing, so we'll see what works. But I, the first thing I'll do is see if I can actually fit all my pattern pieces on this, and then we'll start sewing. And here we are. She is finished. I'm gonna put her on so you can see very soon. I thought I'd just talk a little bit about the process first. I really really like how she looks. I was very worried in the middle of making this part that my boobs wouldn't fit in this but it did, thank god. You can of course read more about the process on my blog as well as the full price for this project. The pattern is from that vintage sewing, the vintage sewing pattern company and they were actually really kind when they saw I made my dress um, and that I was interested in doing their 1940s two-piece dress but they sent me the PDF pattern so I'll be making that one soon as well. But yeah, it was pretty straightforward, cut all the pieces, put them all together. I was a bit confused with this part because it has the lining on the side and I'm just not great at reading instructions because I just need them to visualise them in my head because if I just read them, it doesn't make any sense. I need to see all the puzzles coming together inside my head. But then we made it. I also made my own little double bias tape from leftover fabric, uh, which is what you can see up here, that folded in the raw edge. I just hand sewn that down. I've also hand sewn the zipper. I'm still not very good at sewing zippers, but I'm hoping to improve these invisible zippers so they can get better and better. This. The only thing with this one is that the bodice, especially here, is quite long. Um, you'll see it when I try it on. So I might shorten that as well, but I'm quite happy. But let's put her on and you can see more. I'm going to be honest, this is probably one of all the dresses I've made that have been the one I've worn the most. And I really wish I had pockets in it. So I'm probably going to put that in it. I mean, she's still haven't put that little thing in the back but I really like her and I usually wear it without a bra as well which I tend to not be able to do but I still feel like there's a little bit of support and I just feel comfortable in it as you can see the bodice is a little bit big so I think I could probably bring up the skirt to make it sit in my waist a little bit nicer I also don't mind it a little bit loose like this it's just a bit of a picnic dress I feel I like this big skirt as well the fabric is really light as well and lovely, so very summery. It's raining in Scotland today, but I 
hope to be able to wear her a lot this summer. And as usual, if you have any questions about it, put it in the comments below. I would be very, very happy if you consider subscribing and liking this video if you did like it and would like to see what I have coming up next. Until next time, I hope you're all having a lovely day.